Hi everyone, welcome back to a fictitious episode of Photoshop User TV. We are brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals, the fine folks who bring you Photoshop User Magazine, among many other things. Great website, great training, great discounts. It's great all around. I am Corey Barker, one of the Photoshop guys, and today I am joined by another Photoshop guy, Mr. R.C. Concept. No, I'm wrong. Oh. Oh. No, 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 the lower third should tell us. The lower third. Sherd. Sherd. Mr. Pete Collins, how are you? I'm doing well. It is, it is the holiday season, isn't it? Is it, it is. Not? Tis the season to be merry. T yes. <laughs> Did you know that reference? If you do, put it in the comments later at the end of the show. All right. We do have another Peach Bit deal. Peach Bit all season long has been offering great book deals, and we have another one. It is a limited time offer, 40% off the iPad for Photographer's Book by Jeff Carlson. So be sure to go to peachpit.com slash kelbytv. Use the coupon code KelbyTV on Pawn Checkout. You'll get that 40% off. And it is for the ebook version, not the, the uh, digital, not, not this. Not the analog version he's holding. This there. is a tease. But it's for the ebook version. And that offer ends on the 18th, which is what? Like tomorrow or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what day it is anymore. We've so lost jump track. on there, get the deal 40% off. Exactly. All right. But hey, that's enough about that. Corey, yes. do you have a tutorial? I do. Smooth. And I'm going to start right now. Now, I actually got something uh, with text effects. Um, just playing around with uh, different kind of layer things you can do with uh, text. And it was actually a show um, later, earlier this year called Vikings. And I was actually intrigued by the type treatment they had done on this show. And you can see right here on my screen, I've got it kind of partially finished where I have the shape now. Just kind of have some text with some texturing going on here. But what I want to show you is actually the, uh, the, the main V graphic in the center. Now, I've got the shape already made on a layer there, and it's just this kind of V shape, and it's this kind of cool um, design on the side here. Now what they did um, in their graphic, there was very specific. There was actually symbols that actually meant something. You know, we don't have that kind of time. So we're just gonna do something really cool to kind of get that look, but not necessarily what they were um, doing there. So the first thing is a few layer styles. I'm gonna double click the layer and add a pattern overlay. Now I'm gonna use a pattern that I've already defined here in my pattern library, and it's this one right here. It's kind of got this kind of rough, you know, scratched metal look to it. And let's kind of scale it down a little bit, but uh, that looks pretty good. I then so I'm, wanted you to use the bubbles. Uh, bubbles, perhaps another time. Um, bevel and embossed. I just want to give it a little bit of a dimensional edge there, so I'm going to keep the size down to around one, but I'm going to bump up the depth here so it gives a nice sharp edge to it. See that? Very cool. All right, I'm actually going to change the direction here. I'm going to uncheck Use Global Light. I always uncheck that because what it does is it links all the other layer styles that use the bevel and emboss and keeps the lighting consistent. But in this case, I don't necessarily want that, so I'll just turn that off. So uh, everything's looking good. I've got the beveling. I'm actually going to add one more thing, which is a gradient overlay. And this will add a bit of a light effect to this. If I change the blend mode to something like overlay, you can see the difference there. It just kind of adds a little something extra. Makes that top area a little bit brighter and everything looks great. All right. So that's all for the layer styles. Now what I want to do is add this kind of cool diagram or kind of like etched look on the uh, other side where the uh, design is on this V here. And I'm going to use this random graphic here. It's got this off Fotolia.com. It's just a random um, swirly graphic. And what I want to do is first make a selection of this. Now I'm just going to use a quick channels technique and just option or rather command click right on the um, main channel right here. It's a grayscale image, so there's only one channel. And it makes an active selection of the lighter areas, the outside areas. So I'm actually going to go to Select and choose Inverse. Now I'm going to create a new layer and turn the original layer off. So there is the active selection of that shape. And I'm going to apply a stroke to it. Go to Edit, go down here and choose Stroke. And the size, let's actually keep it around 12. The color is black, it's fine. We'll set it to center and then click OK. So now it's, we've got basically an outline of that shape. So now, it's not the shape itself I want, but rather another selection of this now stroked element. So I'm actually going to command click on the layer itself. So instead of a selection of just the shape, we now have a selection of the strokes in there. So just, that selection. Just the different strokes. Yeah, different strokes for different folks. Thank you, Pete. All right, now I'm going to bring this selection. I'm not going to bring the object, but I'm going to drag the selection over to my working document. And it's pretty big because we were working in a high-res file there. So let's go to Select and choose Transform Selection. Command-0 expands it out so I can see. I'm just going to scale that selection down. 
And there you can see it right there. I'm actually going to scale it back up just a little bit more. And position it. Make sure you have a um, selection tool active. Oop. This is where it gets tricky. Grab you got to make sure you click on part of the selection. Click on part so of the small, yeah. Right about there. I'm actually going to trans scale that up just a little bit more so it covers a little bit more of this area there, like that. And then over here, I'm just going to create a layer mask based on this. I'm going to option click on the layer mask itself and look what it does. It creates this kind of carved look into that text. And I can, of course, adjust that based on the new document we're in. I can probably bring that depth down a little bit. Drop the size. Well, no, let's bring that up just a little bit more. Because it's interplaying with the, uh, the layer yeah. styles that yeah. you have on the. the so see, if you go itself. too much, you get too much of a carved look. So I want to get that really kind of fine, fine line in there, but I'm going to increase the depth a little bit more there. There we go. So it's just adding a little something to that rather than just having the, de the de design on there. And I didn't want to cut away anything, but it's just using that stroke area. So it's depending on the thickness of that, and that's going to ultimately give you that um, overall look on there. So that ultimately you can see is how they uh, came about achieving that. And of course, you know, they had a, a blood splatter, you know, in the original. So we'll just kind of full screen it. And there you go. There you have the Vikings. Da, 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 da. So just fun playing with layer styles and layer masking uh, with text effects in there. So pretty cool stuff. Mm. That is pretty cool. I like it. Hey, let's take a quick break, and when we come back, I've got a quick tip for you and a couple other things, so we'll be right back. All right. Hi everyone, we are back and just want to talk about another thing going on. It is the holiday season and we have a special going on for your NAT members or if you know someone that wants to be a NAT member, you want to buy them a special gift, you can give them the gift of a NAT membership. But what does that do for you? It extends your membership by an extra two months. So if you have a friend, they want to be NAT members, you want them to be a NAT member or whatever, buy them this gift because there's something in it for you. Because who, who wants to shop just for somebody else? So you find out more about that, go to photoshopuser.com slash promos and get more information on that. With that, we're gonna go to Pete who has a cool little tip for us. Quick tip got? for you. Yeah. Well, playing off of his text effects, one of the things you might not realize is that over here, you can set up, if you go into your type menu, you can set up your font preview size. Right now I have it set for none because I am that gifted with all my fonts <laughs> So what that means is whenever I drop down my menu here to see my fonts, I get no preview of what's going on with those fonts. I just have to memorize what each font is. Mm -hmm. I don't know who uses that. I don't even know why they have that as an option. What I like to do is go down and choose not the large, extra large, but choose huge. One of the reasons why I like to do that is now when I sit here and I show these up, you can see, really get an idea of what these fonts look like when you preview them. I like how it wasn't larger than extra large. It just went from large to huge. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's just a great thing that you can do that helps you, especially as we tend to be getting older. You need to be able to see these a little bit better. Just go up to type and go to font preview and choose huge and you'll be like, cool like me. 
Yep. But if you know all your fonts and don't need the preview, would that make you a font savant? Oh, wow. That's fantastic. That was wow. <laughs> Let's jump over to something <laughs> worthwhile. Let's talk about giveaways. Oh, wow. Okay, giveaways. Yes, we have, uh, First. of course, we have a year of nap we're giving away in addition to another special prize, which... Whose book you I'm going to act like Corey's holding it so it'll look like he's kind of uh, plugging his own book here. But no, this is one of the best books out there. We love this book, not just mm -hmm. because he wrote it, but it's just a phenomenal book. And so we want to give this away, Corey's Photoshop Down and Dirty Tricks. Now, not to mention, of course, the follow-up to that book is going to be out here very soon, probably in the next month and a half. Now, don't think, oh, well, the next one's coming out. I'll just wait for that one because it's got completely new material than this one. It's basically a set. So if you want to get the first book, the new one will be out pretty soon you'll have that much more material so awesome book so right. Corey how do they do that how do they do that they have to go to kelby tv.com slash contest go to the pull down menu locate Photoshop user TV enter your name email uh, URL if you'd like and leave us a comment tell us if you can remember the line Pete threw out a minute ago if mm -hmm. you can tell us that you might get an extra congratulatory comment from me <laughs> Not an extra prize, but just leave a comment. You're just, basically, you're just dropping your name in the hat for these giveaways, and we wish you the best of luck. So that, I believe, wraps it up. Yep. So it up. we want to thank you guys once again for joining us here on Photoshop User TV. And again, remember that gift. Go check out the promos over at photoshopuser.com slash promos. Not to mention social media. Check us out on facebook.com slash Photoshop User. And we also have Facebook pages as well. You have... Uh, yep. So if you go, I, you, did you start yours up? Yes, I did. Yep. What is it? Facebook.com? Boy, <laughs> you caught me on that one. Facebook.com, Pete something or other. Go check it out. Ask your friends. Everybody loves it. Everybody knows it. It's the cool kids are finding it. And mine, of course, is um, Facebook.com slash Corey PS3D. I had to throw that in there. So <laughs> we'll see you guys next time here on Photoshop User TV. Bye-bye.